The Kensington Armory is now the town hall, where community members are working hard to make it useful for today while preserving its history. The Kensington Armory was built by the state in 1927. It demonstrates the typical armory design of that era. The exterior resembles a fortress with towers and parapets. The front of the building holds the head house, a two-story section that housed the guards' administrative offices. Centered on the back of the head house is a tall one-story drill hall, which served as an indoor training site. The entire structure rests over a full basement, which today is the home of Montgomery Municipal Cable, but originally it served as a shooting gallery. You can still see the bullet holes created by marksmanship practice. The guard ceased using this building in the mid-1900s. Over the years, it has housed the fire department, the motor vehicle administration, and in the early 70s, it became the city's town hall. Since then, the community has been working to update this building, making it useful for today's needs while preserving its history. For example, two local women's clubs took an empty space and created this Victorian room to illustrate a typical parlor of the late 1800s. Architect James Latham has been advising the group from the beginning. The building is probably underutilized right now because of in, in part because of the architecture. Uh, the lower level is significant, severely underused because the spaces are not usable for the functions that a community would be looking for. Um, so what the ultimate goal would be to see this as a very active place used as much as possible by the community. There are a whole lot of things that are planned. It's just a matter of having to move incrementally to that goal. Restoring historic architecture is a balancing act. Project needs, requirements, costs, and funding sources all must be weighed as plans are made. These windows are a good example. Town Council member Chris Brew explains how he came around to the idea of restoring rather than replacing the windows. Frankly, with my contracting background uh, and having renovated homes, it's I used to believe it was a whole lot easier to just simply take out the old and, and put in the new, and it, and it really is. But you lose so much in the process. Uh, and I finally have come around and with support from the state, uh, state funding which financed this project, 90% of the project costs, uh, we were able to spend a little bit extra uh, to take the, the, the preservation route, which involved lead abatement and other uh, environmental concerns and repairing windows and restoring them as opposed to a total replacement. Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's preserving the old and new windows would have changed the, the feel of the building. Sure, they would have been potentially acoustically better performing and uh, may w maybe would have had better thermal performance, but there are other ways we can get around that. And uh, uh, after looking at other projects, and seeing restoration projects, I think that, uh, that I, I turned around on that one, so. Contractor Hugh Veal describes the process. It's our job to take the window completely apart in the opening and clean it, all of the coatings, clean all the rust, clean all the old putty, clean all of the things that have failed in the entire window, take them off, remove them, restore them, replace them with the same material, uh, and put it all back together and make it beautiful. This armory is part of the Kensington Historic District, which is on the Montgomery County Master Plan for Historic Preservation. Accordingly, the town is required to seek guidance and review from the county. Resident and preservationist Julie O'Malley explains. Part of the process involves going to the Historic Preservation Commission for a Historic Area Work Permit and through that process, the commission is very helpful. They do a lot of work with their staff, um, giving suggestions and information about restoration, the restoration process. And it's a, an invaluable service to those in historic districts. Future plans include the creation of handicapped accessible bathrooms, restoring the exterior masonry, 
completely updating the basement and moving city offices to the upper floors, all of which will be done as funding becomes available. It's slow going, but for Mayor Lynn Rofast, there is no other way. If you're a historian or if you are someone who is involved in preservation, there's no question that you preserve what you have. We have so little here in our country that's old enough to preserve. I believe you preserve everything that you can and revitalize it and use it for today's uses, but don't lose that history.